This is One on One. Alex Ishkanian is a playwright librarian, Bryan Elementary School in Teaneck, New Jersey. Good to see you. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, this is part of our series we do in cooperation with the NJEA, this classroom close-up. Uh, Helping Drew is a puppet show that you introduced, right? Exactly. Um, I worked on it as the playwright and also composed the music and the lyrics and um, partnered up with a puppeteer, yep. uh, David Manley, and uh, it's been... You want to see the video? Touring. Yeah, Let's we'll see the video, then we'll talk. Excellent. It's called Helping Drew, Anti-Bullying for Kindergarten, Pre-K, up to fifth grade. Great stuff. Let's take a look. Classroom close-up. Used to think I'd have a friend. Now that thought is at an end. Is it true what they say? Maybe I'm not okay, cause I'm true. Just true. Puppets are amazing. Something magical happens when the kids see the puppets. They really instantly give their heart over to the puppets. And the social issues combined with the puppets are a powerful medium because the kids are interested in social issues. They do care about how to be a good friend. They do care about protecting themselves. And when you have a puppet experiencing one of those scenarios, they really want to get involved and, and help out. Students at Bryan Elementary School in Teaneck are learning about kindness and respect, thanks in part to a musical puppet show called Helping Drew which was written by the school's librarian, Alex Ishkanian. I've always had a passion for teaching, and I've also had a passion for performing and writing, and I sort of wanted to combine the two. I'm a kid protector, and I'll keep in touch. But with only two eyes, I might miss much. Uh, originally, it actually started as a one-man show where I was performing each one of the characters and I was lucky enough to run into David Manley of Up in Arms, who uh, is this wonderful puppeteer who uh, was interested in taking the project and making a puppet show. Hey, loser, have you seen Victoria? No. Well, that's good for her. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't want to see your face. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? Drew is a student at Puppet Public Elementary School, and he is having a bullying uh, issue with another student, Lee. There's another character, Victoria, who really feels very uncomfortable about going along with Lee, but just doesn't know what to do, just can't find the words or the courage to speak up to Lee and say, you know, we shouldn't be doing this to a classmate. Now that's funny, right? But isn't it funny when it's a girl and she's not acting like you think a girl should? No! Sorry, Drew, I apologize, it's true. Now there's so much more and more I see. Too. The story concludes with Drew and Victoria standing up to Lee and Lee reforming his ways, which Ishkanian hopes sends a positive message about change. Kids can change, there's possibilities. We don't want to label, even though we do have that word bully, we want the kids to see that they're not in boxes. So my hope is that we have compassion for all of the people involved in a bullying situation and that we see that there's hope for each one of them and that we don't give up on, on any of them. That is so good. How proud are you? Thank you. you. I'm very proud. Um, and I'm proud of the kids that see the show because they, they get it, you know. Um, they. They get it, and to hear them, you know, as you could see in the video, the response mm. um, of saying, no, you know, we're not going to allow that. And um, even the kids, I suppose, that may have bad habits, when they come collectively as a group and see something like that, I think, well, I hope they reflect and, and see that they can do things differently. You know, helping Joe, it's interesting. And we have three young children, and, and I have an older boy who's 21, turning 22 as we do this show. And I know they have all faced bullying. I pray that, I hope and pray they, they have not bullied mm -hmm. others. I can't be sure. But I always wonder, like, what do they do when they're in that situation? You know, when as parents we struggle, we, we really worry. And, we, and you look at a video like this, kids need help, don't they? They need to have some direction. 
Absolutely. Why did you know that? Well, I think uh, as a kid, um, I was... Were you bullied? I was bullied. And, you know, not all the time, but at times. It doesn't take much to stay and, with you, right? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. And I was, I, the, I was the crier. I think Drew is based uh, partly on what I used to do. I don't think I was crying. I think there was an element of, well, they're going to stop. They're going to see how upset I am. But also it was sincere crying as well. Yeah. I wasn't the kid that would necessarily punch back or, you know, say something really mean back. So, um, you know, I think I could have used a little more sticking up for myself, you know. Or and, someone and else helping to, you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And there were people that did that too. So, and there were times where I didn't treat people so well either. And I, you know, I feel badly about that. So if this show can help um, you know, it's not the answer. One show is not the answer, but it could be part of a program. It triggers a conversation. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do you get from the kids afterwards? Oh, gosh. Do well, some of them come up to you and talk to you? Oh, absolutely. And say it's happening to me? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think if you begin that conversation, um, you know, um, they do. They do uh, tell stories about themselves. And um, it's amazing if you just ask kids as young as pre-K and K, they can talk about things that maybe you think you might not ordinarily talk to them about, but if, it, if it's worded on their level, um, they want to share. Our daughter Olivia is three and a half, and she told me the other day about a kid who was mean to her. She didn't use the word bullying. Right. She said, so-and-so was mean to me. I said, right. why do you think? She said, I don't know. I didn't do anything. And I said, how did you feel? And she said, I felt terrible. I exactly. said, would you do that to someone else? She said, no. Now, again, I'm not sure, but it starts at a ridiculously young age. It does. Our kids need yeah, help. It can. That's why, that's why the idea, by the way, log on, get more information. Helping Drew is such a good name for this. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, and what's interesting uh, about the show is that actually the audience ends up helping Victoria, who's that in between. Like, yeah. I don't think this is helping right, Victoria. but you're my you're such a good friend so and then they're helping Lee to find other ways to channel his energy um, in this case he's really not mean-spirited he's more like isn't this funny look at me you know but so. then he finds out he's hurting someone right and he finds out it's really not funny and that brings up the question of really what is funny and uh, even society needs to take a look yeah. at what we laugh at because you know you love your teaching I do I love the kids I went away from it for a while yeah, and then I heard concentrated this really on the arts back. huh I heard this really brought you back <laughs> oh definitely in a big way definitely definitely re-energized you definitely um, and I get to work at the school that I work at it's pre-k and k so that energy is um, is so alive there um, and um, when we brought the show to the school that I work in Teaneck, um, there was an excitement. They knew I had written it, and uh, it, was big. it was a really nice. Well, nice you're doing event. great stuff, and you make your profession uh, proud, and uh, you're just one of the long line of terrific public school teachers who have joined us in this series. So thank you. Thank you, Steve. Good stuff. Stay there. One on one will continue right after this. That was great. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Investors Bank, the Russell Berry Foundation, the Ollendorf Center, Cohn Resnick, the Fidelco Group, Bedway Associates, and by United Water. Promotional support provided by the Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by NJ Biz, all business, all New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.